Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. The circus! The circus! I want the circus! And not the hundreds of thousands of people online who hate this case will not convince me otherwise. Okay. Hey everybody, Artie and Marty are back for the Turnabout Big Top. Oh, actually Artie, I think it's the Turnabout Big Flop. Shut up! This is a great case. And I'm going to convince people otherwise. Now the bad side, the bad part of it is Marty's only gonna have three characters to voice in the entire case. I'm pretty sure. But if one of them's Maya, it's fine. Maya does talk a lot. Anyhow, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, we'll have an opening scene. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Woo Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. What? He can fly? I thought he was going to eat fire for a sec. What? What's up? Huh? The world's greatest magician! The one, the only... Maximilian Galactica! Uh... Is that a girl or a guy? A guy. Oh, he had such long hair. What if he just has a jetpack on? <laughs> the terrible the man. Oh my gosh, he's like Tuxedo Mask. Wait, what the heck? Is he free phone? Who is Tuxedo Mask? I've heard of that guy before. He's from Sailor Moon. He's the dude that like shows up and throws roses. Oh, well, no wonder I haven't heard of him. No, he's cool. <laughs> Barry Big Circus. December 26th, 8, 12 p.m., the Barry Big Circus Circus entrance. Huh? Oh, <gasps> Did we go see the show? Yep. Wow, that was like living a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great! There was a dancing bear! I'm a bear. <laughs> and a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire, an elephant who rode a giant ball. I didn't think I'd have Pearl here. Not to mention that guy who threw him through the air! Okay. Oh, I love this. Okay, including Pearl 4, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah! Mass Galactica! He was absolutely fabulous! Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A magician? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick? Uh, no. Oh, oh yeah. Let me show you the attorney's badge. <laughs> also, uh, I mentioned at the end of the first uh, case that there was a plot hole that I found. So we still have the Magatama with us. We didn't have it in the first case, which is interesting. Oh. That's oh. what I wanted to show off. Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. Oh, this is so great! Pearl's seeing the world! I mean, I know her mom's in jail. <laughs> Sorry. Someone's gonna take on her guardianship of her. Yeah! You don't know Sorry. about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. I braved the winter cold and took Pearls to see the circus. Yeah, good on you, Phoenix. It's been six months since that incident in Curran Village. Oh. It was during that terrible time that I met Pearls. Well, I mean, at least she seems to be okay. Mm -hmm. Like, she hasn't suffered too much from Remember, it. Remember, she didn't watch that trial? But so she doesn't know the full extent of what her mom did. Sure, but for she knows at least her mom's not coming back. Yes. So, you know, that's kind of hard on a kid. Sure. Although, from what I could tell, she seemed to be very, uh, strict <laughs> with her kid. So, maybe Pearls is feeling a little free now. Mm. It seems like she's starting to get back to normal. Ah, uh, it's time to go. You're right. We can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remembered the train. Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come back to help clean the office. It's got to be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You are going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I'm glad you'll get to spend the New Year's with your special someone. Pearl! Look, it's time to go. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. Happy New Year? I really hope it will turn out that way. She's adorable. 
And that's the last we see of pearls for the case, unfortunately. She oh. doesn't. She Hi, doesn't come with us. <laughs> you were great. <laughs> December twenty eighth, three days after Christmas. Oh, also the sixteenth anniversary of DL six. Nine twelve a.m. Okay. Right in company law offices. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Beep. Hello? This is the right and company losses. Nick! It's terrible! Ah, Maya! Perfect timing. Things are terrible here, too! Huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up! What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick! You have to turn on the TV! The TV? No. Oh, yeah, you can do this. Now, let's check in at the scene. Huh? What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. Oh, great. The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of the excited onlookers. The very... I mean, the Berry Big Circus? That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a uh, murder. Yeah! They arrested him, too! Uh, arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! So what? Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Yeah, right. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Well, I mean, any girl would be shirtless, I feel like. <laughs> no, like... That's a little weird, especially since it's December. Yeah, it's December. Wouldn't it be cold? All right, Nick. I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? See you there. You've still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? what? <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> Alright, first oh, things first, Maya. Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, a quite decorative plant. I wouldn't mind his help cleaning this place up. Oh, Charlie. There's a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gatewater Hotel, a high-class luxury hotel. Until recently, it had been a normal business class hotel. Oh, again? That's the same Poster. as the last case. A poster of the newest member of the Steel Samurai universe. Maya went out and bought it right away. She's a sucker for all things Steel Samurai. I hear they're even giving the new guy his own movie. I just know Maya's going to drag me out to see it with her. Perfect. Let's do it. Maybe that's the next case. That'd be great. Pearls is like, you guys are going to the- wait, what's the movie? <laughs> that, I can picture that exactly happening. My desk. Since I don't have the time to sit, it's unusually clean. I don't know, your office looks pretty good, man. It's cleaner than my room, at least. Yeah, I don't know what Phoenix is talking about. We can't see the floor of his office, it's actually just, like, mud, mud everywhere. everywhere? <laughs> December 28th, 11, 19 a.m., Detention Center Visitor's Room. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing! Fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous! What a clever girl! Such a fabulous understanding of events! What's with all this fabulous talk? Oh my gosh, she has pink hair?! <laughs> Welcome to the visitor's room! It's Max! Nick, look, it's the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie, pick a card, any card. I feel like this dude's like a cross-dresser, practically. <laughs> he called me sweetie! <gasps> Nick! <laughs> Time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. Th this one. Uh-huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. Oh my gosh. <laughs> one of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Max! <sighs> well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Into the detention center? Max, you should let Nick pick a card. Eek, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. <laughs> and you are... Oh, how silly of me. You must be sweetie's driver. Her driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Oh my gosh, this is gonna end up terribly. Um, I want this one. So, sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes! I'm your biggest fan! 
Don't start with that, Maya. Fabius! F absolutely fabulous! Fabius! <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, um, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Uh... Did he just put a tracker on us or something? <laughs> like some sort of weird He's magic. in jail! I don't no. think he has access no, to no, that. No, 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 It's a magician. If you have anything, they'll be like, oh, What's this? I turn your card into a knife! <laughs> you know, like, it's... I, you it's have magicians. a weird understanding of how magicians No, work. it's magicians in video games. Anything can happen. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Yeah, this dude, oh my gosh. Y y yes Absolutely fabulous! Absolutely cringe-inducing. <laughs> well, hi, Max. You have kind of a weird hair. He's not great, yeah, admittedly. Smile, you're on candid camera. Max keeps sneaking glances up at the security <laughs> camera on the wall. I wonder if he's still trying to be a star? Talk to that dude. What's up, dude? This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet you could forget he was even there, if he wasn't watching everything. He's pushed up against the wall, kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. That makes sense. I don't want to go anywhere near that dude. Um. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little more about yourself. Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better, too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Uh, oh, sweet Jeebus, what in the world? If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Why is his collar so high? <laughs> it's like up to his nose. Well, he's cosplaying as Edward Cullen, apparently. Edward Cullen? Cullen? Who is that? He's the Twilight dude. Oh, I, I haven't seen Twilight. Neither have I. Pink? Okay, well, you know, vampires have oh, the vampires high have collars. Weird high collars. Okay, Maybe okay. Dracula. A Dracula! A pink, slightly flam- very flamboyant Dracula. Berry, what's that cereal? Choc, choc, Blueberry. Dracula, and then Booberry. Combined. And Frankenberry. Yeah. Frankenberry's the pink one. Blueberry's blue. Because it's blueberry. Anyway. Anyways. Combine those and you've got this dude. Lately you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. Why can't we call you Max? Jeez, people nowadays. We'll call you Million. They get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed! It was fabulous! I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. This guy probably killed them. <laughs> wow, Marty! No, all right. he probably did. He's like, oh, help me! I'm in jail! And they're like, He hasn't no. said help yet, actually. Well, okay, well, he's like, oh, I'm in detention, let me win the wheel. Ooh, and then we're like, <laughs> then we're like, oh, let's help him! And he's like, sure! And then he's just done it the whole time. Could be. Okay Could then, be. that's Marty's theory thus far. Could be. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was fab. I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible! Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. Who yeah. would be a most modest magician? The entire point of being a magician is to put a coin behind your ear. Wow! What up? You're signed to an exclusive contract with the Berry Big Circus, correct? That's the long and the short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous, you have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right! You're so right! I actually agree with him with that. Ma magic yeah. is nowhere near as cool on the I've internet. I've seen a magic show live before where he was like, here's a brick wall, and I'm going to climb through it! Ooh. One thing, I wish magicians, cool. like, for live performance, were not so hammy. Like, if they were just like, okay, now I'm gonna, like, cut this guy's hand off, but it's not actually gonna get cut off. <laughs> well, look, see? 
That'd be cool. There, there was <laughs> like the, 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 the demure magician I'd watch. Near him. the end of the magician show, he was like, "I'm gonna show you guys some stuff, like how we do some of the stuff here, which was super cool." That is nice. But like, and that's when he was more himself. But before he was like, "Behold, you are behold, 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 behold." behold. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. However, the circus—it's a dinosaur, the fiend of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract! That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the Barry Big Circus is fabulously popular! I guess that makes sense, because I've never been to the circus before. Yeah, it's I fair. mean, the Cirque du Soleil count? Not really. It's like a specialized circus, I yeah. guess. Cirque du Soleil is like the epitome of amazingness, I would say. Like, of, of the circus world. That's like <laughs> Oh, well, forgive me for not jumping for joy. Bad Sorry. back, you know, <laughs> scar. <laughs> People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Y yes I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. That's annoying. But I kind of like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. I love circus performances. Yeah, this, this guy is a tool, let's be honest. I once saw a guy eat fire, and then... The no, just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Sure, just leave it at that. I once saw a guy eat fire. It was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just pictured you walking down the street. There's just a guy. Like, oh! <laughs> no, literally, that's what happened. I was, yeah, I was visiting a friend, and there was just a dude like, ah, oh! and like ate fire and then blew it out. I think there may have been some there illicit was an substances. Event. No, there was an event oh, going on. Because oh. then after that, he was like, "Watch me use this chainsaw." <laughs> <laughs> and that's when you booked it. <laughs> yeah, that is what I. Booked. Tell me about what happened at the very big circus. <laughs> Ah, last night, the ringmaster was murdered. What? That's kind of a big deal! Yeah. Okay, I was expecting, like, oh no, the little ballerina performer's dead. The ringmaster's, like, in charge of literally everything. Yeah, you it's saw like Greatest big... Showman. Yeah! <laughs> that was good, but, yeah. <laughs> we, are ring... gonna, we are not even gonna get through all this conversation, are we? Before it's like, well, that's all the time we have for today! <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just have a lot to say, apparently. The ringmaster, you mean Russell Berry? Russell Berry. Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over what on the ground. What is with this thing with people getting hit on the heads with objects? <laughs> if it was a finger clock, I'm gonna be very concerned. Uh, it's a finger clock. <laughs> Berry's like, I made another one! It's, a, it's an elephant clock. Oh. How even dare you? <laughs> Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. Gumshoes on it. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him that night, in his room. Um, you were in his room, and he was murdered, and it was not you? <laughs> Alright. Is this another spirit channeling thing? So then, why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on the matters, that's all. Nick, I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back into reality. Oh, wait, oops. No, 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 no. Like, I want to talk. Want I actually don't want to talk, but I have to talk. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? Uh, what did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Oh, that's great. This is not gonna end well. Salary? I am the one bringing in all of the crowds to the circus. I think that I should be compensated <laughs> as such. You agree, don't you? No. Y yes that's all you talked about? Of course! It was a fabulous chat! That can't be. Cyclops! Need! Oh, actually a lot of them. Okay. Fabulous! Why does he keep saying fabulous? Uh, what's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Well, that's right. Maya doesn't see the Cyclops. That's stupid. 
Pearl does, but she doesn't, which is interesting. It's you or Magatama, Maya! Why can't you see it? <laughs> what is that badge? Is it used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking with me? He isn't wasting his time, Max. You're... Okay, okay. Relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. You're a little under-anxious. Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. Mm. Uh, what's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Be because You've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the famous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means... I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max? Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are what? they? He must be making such a mess, throwing cars <laughs> everywhere. They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at it, Max. He's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Um, um, yes. Pork, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm an attorney. Please help me! I didn't kill nobody! Why do you sound like an old man? <laughs> didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That's insane. I love how his makeup's running. I could never! M Max? I swear, I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Really? Really. Uh, thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Um, Max? Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Jobs. Oh my gosh. Ugh! What's the matter, Maya? He's really... Just a country bumpkin. I mean, yeah, everyone starts from somewhere. <laughs> I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney? Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Hmm, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How did he... He got it right again! He probably looked through his cards. What can I say? You too, you've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Great. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case! Come on, Nick. Okay, well, yeah. So it starts off slow. The case, I admit, it starts off slow, but it gets pretty I good. don't know! This is pretty, uh, interesting. Wait, we could go back to the circus. We will, don't worry. December 28th, right, and company losses. It, this will make less sense if we don't do it right away, though. Okay. Alright, we've got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking. Let's get going. Okay. What's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica. Who would have guessed he was a country bumpkin? Yeah, if you could do, like, all the investigating before coming back here, it's like, Maya, you are still brooding over that? <laughs> that makes more sense. So, now what do we do? Huh? There's still lots we can do! Go to the scene of the crime, talk to witnesses, gather evidence... Yeah, I guess you're right. We still don't even know what happened in the first place. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. I could have sworn I've heard that before. Well, we never have enough information! Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. We don't have enough information. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the circus! Hawk hawk! Oh my gosh. <laughs> tweet tweet. December 28th, Barry Big Circus, Circus Entrance. What a circus it is. We're here again. Yep, but this time we are here for work. Question, was that like the day before, or was that like a few days after they had gone? This is very important. That was, that was after they went to the circus. Okay, the, the killing was on a separate day yes. from when they went to the circus. Okay, 
super important because I want to make sure it's not like, oh, hey, well, Pearl ran into the killer when she was getting popcorn. <laughs> like, I, I want to make sure that there's nothing like that that no. might happen. Okay. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Hey, Gumshoe, where are you at? I know you're here. Somewhere. Look! Look! It's Max! Even when you don't want to see him, poof, he's right there in front of you. Sure, the sign says Very Big Circus, but looking around, it might as well be Cirque du Galactica. Yeah. I would watch that, not like I him. would not. Not of him, but like if there was a Cirque show called that. <laughs> the stars on his cheek sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker! Nah, nah, it's alright. How about we draw your attorney's badge instead? Hmm, this door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. I bet all of the stars stay in that lodging house. Great, so probably the murder was in there. This is the box office where they sell the tickets for the circus. They also sell programs. I forgot to buy one when we came to the circus last time. You had to buy it? That's terrible. You're totally ripped off if you have to do that. So then why don't you buy one now? Hmm, sounds like a plan. Oh no, it looks like I forgot my wallet. If you want me to buy it for you, just ask me already. You know, I'd never do that to you, Nick. Right. After paying for three rolls of roll film. <laughs> <laughs> it's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention... Candy and popcorn! They even got snow cones! Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Look around. There's tons of snow piled up all around here. Yay! Wait a sec! There's no syrup, though! I want syrup! Hopefully she doesn't notice that discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup. <laughs> yeah. Just Someone brought some their juice. dog through here. Alright, lodging house, big top. Which to go to first, Marty? Um, we're not supposed to go into the lodging house. Therefore, let's go to the lodging house. <laughs> Alright! We're not even supposed to be in there. Wow. What December is 28th, the lodging house plaza. This seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So that Stoji clown should be here too? Or Stoji? Yeah. Stoji, I said Stoji. So that Stoji clown should be here, huh? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Oh, Detective Gumshoe? I always see you hanging around when I'm working a crime scene, pal. You always seem to be working so hard, Detective. I'd rather not be working hard, but with crime you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyways, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained! <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Must be really bad if Gumshoe's complaining about this. <laughs> the sideways face. Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Of course, it'll be Miss Von Karma. Woo! All right! She isn't gonna hit me with her whip again, is she? You better believe her. What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe, that's enough about Von Karma. What about that guy? What is he up to? That guy? What happened to Edgeworth? You know, the Edgeworth that's Nick's rival. What in the world happened when I went back home? L Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him? Nick won't tell me. Well, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. What? Let's just say he's not around anymore. Stop being vague. I want to know if he's dead or if he'll come back. He's not around. Nick, what does this mean? Mr. Edgeworth isn't around. Exactly what he said. He's not around. Maybe he got in legal trouble and he's in jail. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick! Come on, I... Phoenix well, basically flat out said it in the last case. That he died? Yeah. Well, if he's dead, he's dead, but that sucks. What would he have been killed for? 
Unless if he was Maybe stupid. Maybe Gant killed him because he's like, uh, how could Wervy have gotten me killed? Gant was put in jail. Or he better have been. Oh, he definitely was. Okay. <laughs> so that one should be fine. It's more like... Unless... I told you there would be spoilers for the first game, by the way. You were oh, wrong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. I feel like Edgeworth doesn't go down that easy. It's not like, oh, he got hit by a car, therefore he's dead. <laughs> it's more like, you know... If, he, if Edgeworth's going down, he's going down with a bang. Maybe a literal bang bang. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. All right, I well, know. we'll figure it out. The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10 p.m. He died outside in the cold. A pretty sad way to go out, if you ask me, pal. They locked him outside? It was rather cold. No, he got slammed on the head outside. Oh. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. I feel like freezing to death would be one of the worst. Right about where you're standing now. Ah! Ho 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 ho! Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing! Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Oh, okay. Yeep! It's pretty clear cut as far as murders go. He was discovered quickly. That's good. But. But. There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Ha! Huh. There's always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit! What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? The thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints? They could still see them? Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? This wooden box under the body? No clue, pal. Some forensics experts took it back and are examining it now. And... and... what is so mysterious about the footprints? Whoa, calm down there. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. There's only one set. The victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. The problem is... The killer's footprints aren't there! Bingo. Where did the killer come from, and where did the killer run off to? Obviously, there's no way the killer com committed this crime while flying. Uh, a flying actually, criminal? that could totally be. That's when something just clicked in my head. You know, he could fly. What if someone else can fly? <laughs> what if Harry Potter swooped down? <laughs> Harry <laughs> Potter comes, he's like, I got the snitch! And then he like, hits him on the head with the broom. <laughs> Sorry, there's man. no way. Flying's impossible! That's right. Flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Crime photo added to the court record. Uh, yep. You know I can't tell you two anything about the evidence we have gathered. Stingy. Stingy? When you put it so bluntly, it kind of hurts my feelings, pal. Then give us information. Come on, you flashed that badge at me so many times it doesn't work anymore. Why don't you try wearing a different badge every now and again? Well, I do have a Steel Samurai badge with me. How about that one? I'll only wear it if Detective Gumshoe carries a Steel Samurai police badge. Then it's a deal. I hear that Detective Gumshoe is that third badge. What? Don't look at me like that. You're making me nervous. I want to have it happen. Oh, let's see how old our people are. Yep. Being a spirit medium is quite an accomplishment. And you're so young, too. That's really something. Actually, I've been thinking of taking a break from channeling. Really? I don't want to have another incident like last time. Fair enough. Alright, Max is 21? Dang. He's young. Francisca is still 18. You're going down this time, pal. Oh, is that right? She's been practicing a thousand cracks a day, pal. Cracks? Wait, you don't mean cracks of the... Yep, cracks of the whip! I thought she just appeared uh, and was like, SHUT UP! I'm making a really strange, tired-looking face here. Hmm, are you sure you weren't born looking like that? Uh-huh. I wish I was more lively. 
Right now, I'm just tired. Well, there's not much you can do about that, so you just gotta keep on being tired. You're right! Glad I stayed out of that one. Well, he looks more happy now. Looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Very good advice. Hmm, he's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude. I've got proof, pal. Huh? He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have a very classy decorative element. Silk hat added to the court record. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his oh signature my gosh. symbols. <laughs> That's a... Yes. <laughs> white roses are amazing. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they're easy to understand. I must have hit a nerve. That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Huh? So tell us about the eyewitness. It's he, I guess. Maybe it's Penny, too, and it's a normal person. No. Okay. <laughs> there are no normal people in this case. Okay. <laughs> um, how about any eyewitnesses? Well, maybe. Ho ho ho, you know I'm not gonna tell you that. That's the prosecution's trump card. Hmm, oh well. Watch, it's gonna be a fire breather. Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. Uh, we're already in the plaza. Why? Uh, <laughs> why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remembered to tell you. They probably died there. It must be because there's an eyewitness inside the lodging house. Let's check it out. Oh, no you don't, pal! <laughs> we'll check it out if we Well, first we, we gotta to. examine all this stuff here. Did, did... This year, I finally won an air conditioner. Good for you, Gumshoe. What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your tr Triceratops to work, too? <laughs> and what did you mean you won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? I can't afford one of those fiends. Aw, oh, poor Gumshoe. But I got lucky and won it as a door prize at the annual police Christmas party. Oh, that's great. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts? I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. How are you living? Instant noodles, pal. <laughs> Peanut butter isn't that expensive. It's like two bucks. I think he literally lives off of the prepackaged ramen. Aw, poor guy. Poor guy, indeed. The safety lights around the circus are kept on all night long. So, they should have been on at the time of the murder. Wait, if that's the case, how did he treat all of us at the end of the game? He was like, oh, dinner's on me, woo! I say it was good dinner. Oh, maybe. <laughs> so, maybe he's problem. saying the murder took place in the light? How strange. How strange, indeed. Hmm... It seems too perfect. This is the only place that the snow hasn't been trounced upon. The murder was sloopy, leaving sloopy, sloopy, <laughs> sloopy, <laughs> sloppy, <laughs> sloppy. <laughs> was sloppy, leaving all these prints all over. Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! We're the ones who left the prints. <laughs> I think I was thinking of Snoopy, and then I sloppy and put them together <laughs> wrong. Yeah, an like, investigation can be messy things sometimes. What? I also slipped and fell in the spot over there. Great job! The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me. Thank God there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. So, maybe he fell on the tracks. What if that? Why don't they have that blocked off? What if someone's like, da 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 da, and like starts snopping everywhere in the snow? Snopping? Stopping! I said stopping! <laughs> it sounded like you said snopping. <laughs> I'll go back in editing, no worries. Great. It's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving their evidence. What's that? It looks like flippers. There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey! Watch it, pal! The killer's behind that tarp! Ah! Ho <laughs> Got ya! I was just kidding. The killer's guy guy gigantic. <laughs> gigantic. I can't talk. <sighs> Alright, I think we need to end the episode there then. No! <laughs> We're over the half hour mark and I want to keep the episode shorter now. Okay. So thanks for watching, everybody, and tune in next time. We'll be exploring more of the circus. We gotta go to the big top still! Ha, coggy, tweet, tweet! And oh, boy. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day, and God bless.